Hey, hello, I'm up here. I'll bet you thought I was gonna come through that door. Welcome to the 1740 house. Let me show you around. This is a 24 room bed and breakfast built in 1967 by Harry Nestler. Mr. Nestler brought the property that once held the farmhouse from the 1740s, but that was washed away in a flood in August of 1955, leaving only the foundation and remnants of a barn, which we built a room into that I'll show you later. Let me show you into the dining room. This is the breakfast that we're serving today for our guests. We have scones, an oatmeal bake, breakfast bread, muffins, two different kinds of quiches, all homemade. This is the bar of 1740 House. It's uh, the newest addition, built in 2010. We have a restricted liquor license, so we have to operate as a private club. But anybody who is staying overnight has club privileges for the duration of this stay. We have live music in here every other Sunday. L local legend Michael Aranella plays 1920s era jazz music. Now let's go look at some rooms. Right now we're standing in the remnants of the only original structure left from the 1740s. This used to be a barn, so we have stone walls. Most of the stones are original to that era. Low ceilings, a low beam, king-size bed, a sofa, and a beautiful picture window overlooking the Delaware River. We're standing in room number 24. This is the most requested room out of all the rooms at 1740 House. It just has this romantic feel to it with a queen-size bed, a patio which overlooks the Delaware River. We have a fireplace, and around the fireplace you see these tiles. The tiles are from the Moravian Pottery and Tile Work Company in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. They're made from the original molds that Henry Mercer made in the early 20th century. This is the grand suite of 1740 House. It is the most magnificent room that we have. This used to be the room of the original owner, Harry Nestler, and was an innkeeper's residence for many years. It offers a 180 degree view of the Delaware River. We stage corporate events here very often. Now I wonder where the innkeeper used to sleep. A king size bed, a microwave oven, a refrigerator, a view of the Delaware River, a balcony where you can sit outside, like all of our rooms, a private bath. So who could ask for more? I wanted to show you these two rooms because they work perfectly for two couples traveling together. There's a private entrance, a short flight of stairs, and then these two rooms right across from each other. What really drives the engine here at 1740 House is our affiliation with Holly Hedge Estate, who purchased 1740 House in 2010. That afforded them to hold larger weddings at Holly Hedge. The immediate family would stay at Holly Hedge, and the invited guests, they stay with me down here at 1740 House. This is our upper deck patio, where we have an herb garden, where the chef comes each day and he picks the herbs for the daily meal. It's also a very popular lounge area for guests. They can grab a cocktail, come on up, and enjoy this beautiful view of the Delaware River. This is our outdoor courtyard, where guests can have dinner outdoors, enjoy a beautiful view of the towpath. Wednesday nights is burger night. We cook burgers on the outdoor grill here. Everybody just has the most fun. You can rent bikes at the Lumberville General Store. It's six miles to New Hope. If you're really hardy, it's 10 miles to bike up to Frenchtown. Well, I'm on my way to New Hope. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the 1740 house and thank you for checking in.